Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. We're really excited to announce the fact that we're launching web. And I know for a lot of people they say, well, web, why is that a big deal? Well, we're a mobile first, mo mobile only company. And for a couple of years, everyone always asks us, when is Banjo going to be available on the web? We want to be able to check out our favorite events, breaking news on the web. And so this morning, we actually pushed the live button on web. And the great part about it is you don't even need to sign in now. It's kind of like Google in the sense that you just go there and you can just see stuff or search for anything. Like a, you can search by South by Southwest. And you'll see every single live post coming out of here, coming out of Tech Cocktail. Uh, if you want to see what's going on maybe in Ukraine right now, you'll be able to see that, your favorite sport, anything. So in addition to that, we launched um, a new version of mobile apps, both iOS and Android, iPad and tablet today. And what we did is we started adding headlines in our own editorial to all the events happening around the world. And the key part of that is something we call Banjo Rewind. So think about this. What the DVR did for television, Banjo Rewind is going to do for the internet. It allows you to rewind to any event uh, in time, so you can go back to like the Boston Marathon bombing of last year and relive the entire social feed as it happened at the bombing. Uh, and so that's what we're announcing today. Feedback from users is always key, but there's actually a larger component to it. As live events uh, have become prominent for a lot of different types of um, social media, et cetera, there's only one company, and that's Banjo, that curates it every live event in venue. And a lot of people don't have access to the mobile devices, whether it's uh, in venue or in the office during the day. They can't get out their mobile all day. And they kept saying to us, we want to be able to look at it at work. We, you know, there's all these points in our life that we're still using mobile, or excuse me, the internet. Like even on a plane, for example, people wanted to be able to access some events. So we said, let's just go ahead and roll out the web. We built it extremely fast, because the last time we talked, which wasn't very long ago, it wasn't even on our radar. Not only is it on our radar now, it's out the door. I don't know about occupations. I mean, we, we skew from about the 23-year-old uh, to about 45 years old. It's very much a worldwide demographic. Every day, Banjo is used in about 194 different countries. So uh, obviously, that's just about all major countries in the world. Someone uses Banjo from there. Um, Europe's very popular for us. Obviously, US is number one for us, uh, and followed closely by Europe. We don't ever purposely launch for South By. To me, it was, let's just continue to grind on this thing. And as soon as we get it, let's go. I mean, is it polished and ready to go? Absolutely not. But it's just kind of the way we do everything at Banjo. And so when people were asking, like, what's next? I said, you know what, guys? Flip the bit. Let's just push it live. Well, we're not ready. It's not, this isn't done. This isn't done. Who cares? We're going to get feedback. Yep. Some users won't like it. They'll wonder, why is this unpolished? Why doesn't this work? At the end of the day, I'd rather get the feedback. And you know what? South by is a good place to start getting feedback. It's not the mainstream users that we normally have on Banjo. But you're going to get brutal, honest truth here. People saying, this is crap. Change this. Why did you guys put out that? So why not put yourself subjective to your peers? A lot of things next. Um, for us, we're going to focus mostly on our uh, media stuff. And what I mean by media is things like NBC, The Today Show, uh, Fox. They're all using us on television every day now uh, in order to show news, uh, sporting events, uh, things that are happening around the world. And so we're going to really hone in and, and polish the product for uh, te television and the mainstream media. And for the consumer, uh, we're going to have a new version of the app that comes out that allows them to customize it, it personalize it. It's that personalization layer, if you will, so that you are only seeing the events and news and things that matter to you, but without having to do the homework. I hate to have to go to a site that says, I like this, I don't like this. So how do we do that without making you do the homework? And that's the, that's the next big consumer version of Banjo coming out. My mom cut hair for most of her life, right? And she's retired now. But I would say to her, you got to make people feel good. You know, you feel great. When you get your hair done, right, you feel good. And I said, how many people did you do that for a year? It was in the hundreds. We, every day, we make millions of people feel good because they're able to get content that they're not able to get anywhere else. They're able to be the first to know and tell their friends. And when you get that correspondence back from a user that says, I was able to do this, or I found out about this from Banjo, it's like a drug. And you just want to keep doing it and making people feel happy around the world. And the fact that we're in so many countries, we're in 14 different languages already, uh, we get to communicate with a lot of people that we otherwise wouldn't. And you and I both know we both have a love for travel. And this allows me to be connected with people every day around the world. Who, who wouldn't want to do that? Thank you.